Hi Seekers, we are Matt and Angie, a queer couple seeking to live life boldly. To do so, we have decided to visit our native country, Italy, in 10 months on our colorful van. We are currently in region number one, Liguria, and in our previous vlog, we have shown you four of the most visited villages in the Ligurian hinterland. But there are some more to see. That's why yesterday night we drove up to Triora. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? In Triora, it didn't matter what kind of witch you were, witches burned, and to this day, the town remembers. In 1587, bad weather and pitiful crops led to a famine, and the desperate residents of Tiriora became convinced that only the work of witches could bring such a misfortune. The Inquisitor of Genoa and Albenga and the priest Girolamo del Pozzo arrived and verified the local parliament's suspicions. Indeed, evil was afoot, and soon the first 20 women were rounded up. The initial accused witches were peasant women from a slum community that could be found outside the wall of the city. The initial 20 became 30, as the women were convinced through torture to name more of their satanic sisters. Soon 18 of the accused broke down and confessed, dragging in 13 women, 4 young girls and a single young boy as well. This town saw the largest witch hunt of Italy, so brutal to name this place Salem of Italy. What's really crazy is that women died here and instead now people are taking advantage of this history of this town and marketing it, making a business out of the witch's town and that's also how we discovered Triora. But it's strange, something that before was... So cruel. Yeah, and convicted as a crime. Now it's something to make a business out of it. The restaurants are named after the, uh, the, the witch, the witch uh, area, the mystery. And there are um, hotels, uh, B&Bs, and also shops selling okay. souvenirs and stuff about witches and it's strange, it's really strange yeah. how the per perspective in centuries can change so much, really. Finished exploring Tioda and now we are heading to Valoria. We both have our period so be careful what you say <laughs> i have many cramps today she's feeling better because her period started a few days ago yesterday yeah. uh, two days ago too. i'm feeling not so well so we'll see what we are able to explore today
took us about two hours, I would say, yeah. to go from uh, Prioria to Valloria. We just parked in Valloria. Yeah. We are gonna eat something before visiting the city. Um, yeah, we are snacking on leftovers. We're making some uh, lentil, lentil pasta, and some salad, some nachos, hummus, and some pasta. Let's go explore Valoria. Let's go explore Valoria. Valoria is a small town with only 34 inhabitants, as Google says. But what is really peculiar about Valoria is that about 150 doors are uniquely painted. We are just arrived in Peria and uh, in a parking of uh, Conrad Superstore <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are heading to the city center. Yeah. We have a few stops to make so we are gonna figure out where to park, stroll around a little bit and visit in Peria too today. Yeah. I would say we were good together. We are on the lover's path, which is all along the seaside. We are gonna walk the path and let's see if we'll fall in love with someone. Oh, you! <laughs> <laughs> Could bring yeah. to any become thirty thirty as the woman. Eh? Non ho capito nulla. Twenty become twenty became twenty became thirty 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 no baby. Ti dici c'è thirty thirty thirty. Non riesco. No no dimmi dimmi. Com 30. 30 Dimmi, correggimi Baby, non so come correggerti 30 30 Sì, no, mai uguale 30 Tu dici 30 Invece è 30 30 Meglio Non è in inglese così? 30 30 30 30 Come lo dici? 30 Assetato 30 Me lo dico Ok Free, come lo dici? Free come? Free. Come? Free. No, eh, tre. Ah, tre. Tre. Quello è albero. Ah, tre. Quello è albero. We are on a romantic walk, baby. You gotta be romantic. I'm so romantic, baby. You're not romantic. Dai, <laughs> e due.